Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome back to the channel. On this week's episode, we're going to go through some really helpful tents on how we're going to provision our boat for a weekend up the lake, whether we're staying at the dock or even going houseboat camping. Got some very helpful... No! Oh, I think Sweet Pea likes to hear the boat. So, got some helpful tents for you. Obviously, I'm in the car and I can't do this while I'm driving, so going to run around town, pick up a few things, and we'll catch up with you soon. things first, we're going to need some coffee. Hey, good morning. May I please have an extra large coffee with cream and no sugar? Of course, anything else? That'll be all. Perfect. I'll see you at the window. Thank you. The first thing that we highly recommend and would almost require that everyone that's houseboating or maybe headed up to the lake for the weekend to see a friend is to find or borrow a cart like this. It makes taking everything to and from the parking lot to the boat that much easier. And then after the weekend is over, you can put your trash in here to wheel it up to the dumpster and it makes cleanup and everything else for the weekend so much more enjoyable and it saves a ton of time. Make sure and get one of these. And a pro tip, make sure that you pack your cart last so that once you get to the marina, you can open up your car door, pull that out and start loading your stuff up. I've made the mistake a few times of putting it way here in the back only to just defeat the purpose of needing it. So pro tip, pack it last. When you're looking to provision your boat, whether you're renting a houseboat for the weekend or you may be even a seasoned houseboater, what really helps us and the second tip that I wanna share with everybody is to make a plan of what you're gonna need for the week. We're at the grocery store now and we're gonna have to pick up some fresh produce and things like that for our meals this week. One thing that we do often that helps us is we keep a lot of rice, canned vegetables, and spices at the boat so we don't need to buy those every single time. And we know that we have those available for us. Really the only things that we're here to pick up at the store today are perishable items and fresh items that we wouldn't wanna leave on the boat for any extended period of time. And hopefully they're good enough and fresh enough that we're gonna eat them pretty quick as well. And while we're there, it's very helpful for us to make a, a meal list for every breakfast, lunch, and dinner that we're going to be there. And oftentimes, if we plan on boat camping, we'll throw in an extra meal or two just in case. A main reason why we use the meal plan is because when we're out boat camping, we don't have the ability to take a pontoon boat or a jet ski from the beach that we're at back in. So we have to be very, very specific about what we're gonna do when we're out and away from the shore. Because if we have to come back, that means we'd have to leave the beach and potentially cut our weekend short or lose our spot. And it, it just makes everything more difficult. If you have the ability to maybe rent a jet ski or a pontoon boat or you have one, that might give you a little bit more flexibility in leaving the beach, getting out to one of the lakeside marine restaurants or going back into the, to the marina, to your car and making a quick grocery store run if you have to. I've got one of the world's greatest grocery shoppers back here with me, so we're gonna jump in the grocery cart, pick up a few items. Got our trusty list and meal, meals for the weekend right here. Let's go see what we can pick up. CP, are you driving a cart for us? Vroom, vroom. All right, babies. They're love some fresh strawberries. Two for five dollars. Good price, good price. Right. Doing pretty good. Oatmeal. Claire, did we get everything off the list? Did we get everything off the list? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, Claire says we're done. Time to go back to the car. Easy checkout today. We got all our stuff at this store. And just as Claire said, it is time to go to the boat. I'm gonna head home, pack up the last few things. It's gonna be a great weekend. If you can see right here, I have the cart packed last, which means the car's packed, we're ready to go to the lake. We're gonna go put Claire in a clean diaper, put her in the car. I think Dory's already in the car. We're ready to go up to the lake for the weekend. Come along with us, it's gonna be fun.
All right, made it to the lake. Time to unload the car. I think Dory's ready to go. Like I said, pro tip, make sure you put the blue buggy in last. So now that we can unload everything from the boat into the blue buggy. Well, empty-ish. We still have plenty of drinks in here from last time. But we're about to load up this fridge with all the stuff that we are provisioning our boat for the weekend. Here's all the dry food that we keep here pretty routinely. When something goes out of stock here, we always will refill it. So we've got salt, oil, anything that you would need routinely to cook. We always try to keep it stocked on our houseboat. So we're not always trying to remember to bring stuff like that up here. So we've got a lot of extra stuff like, of course, bread. We always refill each time we come up here. But pasta sauce keeps pretty well. Rice. Ooh, Trey, you got your, some Chef Boyardee back here. Very nice. Beefaroni. Macaroni and cheese. Anything that, you know, that keeps well. We always like to keep a little extra. And, of course, we've got cereal and baby items that store okay and I can't live without coffee so we've got a bunch of coffee that we've stocked so all stuff that we would enjoy eating on um, a houseboat camping adventure but we don't want to necessarily have to remember to bring every single time that we come up here and if we have it already stocked it just makes it that much easier to get up here in a reasonable amount of time and then get out and find a beach and enjoy the, our day so now the last couple things we need to do is just unload a lot of the fresh food that we've bought. We, uh, we think we fixed the electrical gremlin, but we still don't quite trust the refrigerator to leave some potentially perishable things up here. Plus, we also like to plan our menu every, every time that we're coming up here, just change things up a little bit. And so just unloading these last few things into the refrigerator, and I think we're going to be ready for the weekend after that. What do we have in here? Anything good? Oh, I think we're going to make some kebabs. So we got some fresh Georgia shrimp that are frozen down there. Shrimp kebabs. Shrimp kebabs. Tell me more. Yeah, so shrimp kebabs. Let me see those shrimp. They're, they're in here. Fresh Georgia shrimp frozen in there. You always like cooking stuff on the grill. I do. It's something about being at the lake and cooking on the grill that makes it more festive and enjoyable. It does. And the extra meal, we just brought some extra chicken. So we shall see. Oh, hey, sweet pea. You're such a big help. Thank you. Thank you for helping. Thank you for helping. I love when you help. So we've got a few drink options on board. We always like to have a couple beers. We top, definitely top drink of choice uh, after five o'clock and definitely a couple when Claire goes down for, for bedtime. So I always have some beer here. The only water that we really keep on board would be a LaCroix. And then we don't do bottled water because we don't want to use the single use plastics. And we have 320 gallons of fresh water on board. So we just have some cups here to keep the water. Um, so we don't use as much plastic when we're drinking water. We use a couple of things here to store a little bit more beer and a few more LaCroix there in our refrigerator. And then speaking of water, we also have an ice maker there that works. It's a little slow. It works for the two or three of us. Uh, but when we have company, we always like to make sure that we've got a big bag of ice so that everyone can have something for their drinks. <laughs> and Claire's excited about lunchtime. And that's kind of our refrigerator setup when we're getting everything provisioned for an awesome weekend on the houseboat. And the third and final tip that I want to share with you all when you're getting ready to provision your boat for the weekend, 
Make sure and pack a really good attitude. Nobody likes a Debbie Downer, negative Nancy, so bring a positive attitude with you and it's gonna make your weekend a heck of a lot better. So I'm probably sure that everyone's got their own different style when it comes to provisioning your boat for the weekend. So it can probably be a pretty personal thing. So let us know in the comment section down below how you like to provision everything for a long weekend out on the water. Appreciate everyone sticking around. If you wanna see some other great videos that we put together about uh, other items on board like hats and clothes and things of that nature, check out this video right here. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. Hope everyone's having a great summer and we look forward to seeing you out on the water.